Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we've got all the mechs fixed from the last episode, and we're ready to jump down. I didn't do any uh, adjustments to them at all, they are still the same layout. So we're ready to jump into another mission. Now I did sell, between episodes, if you notice we're over 2 million now, I did sell, I was going to sell all the light mech parts, um, and then I thought, you know what, any mechs that we have two parts of, or the ability to put together a mech with one more part, I didn't sell. And then I went to the medium mechs, and any like 40, 45 ton mechs that we only had a single part of, I sold those as well, just so that, you know, um, if we do manage to pick up a part somewhere along the way that we've already got parts for, we'll be able to make a mech. And, you know, if I need to sell those parts later on, we can do that. But I just sold just enough so we can make our financial report without having to worry. So let's go right into the command center here. I'm hoping to do both of these missions today, but we'll see how it goes. We're going to do the test drive first. Three and a half skulls. Um, so they've, they've captured a Marauder 2. Um, and they want to test it out against Jade Falcon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and we're going to go... It's Jade Falcon. We're going to go full salvage. Now we're going to have to do some missions for them to uh, get their... Uh, their um, likability back up on us again. We'll do that at some point. So we're going to run this way. And Mastodon. Now Mastodon picked up, between episodes, picked up Warlord, which is great. Um, and what else? I think that's it. I, there was a couple of other minor skills that went up. Now I'm going up the tactics tree on my main guy here. I want to try to improve his called shot. Uh, since we're using a lot of pinpoint weapons, I want to try to improve the accuracy of the called shot. So that's why we're going to go up this route. Uh, we're going to do the same thing on Dallas, and we're going to do the same thing on... Uh, duck as well. So, all right, let's deploy and get this done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Now, do we have? Looks like we got a land land landing with us. So, you ready to evac? We'll pick you up here. We're not ready to. What do you ready mean? Ready to evac? Ready to evac? We're killing shit, man. That's what we're here for. Uh. Yeah, we do have some guys here. Thunderbolt, half armored, quarter armored archer, crusader. So two thunderbolts, archer, crusader. See, their marauder should be here. They should pilot the marauder. All right. How might I help? Let's bring the fight to them. Now this, I don't think I've ever played on this map before. This particular way, that is. Doesn't look familiar at all. Yes, Commander. All right, Dallas. Double time. Let's go. Yeah. What can I do you for? It's always five bucks, buddy. You know that. Just for you. God, this mech is slow. Okay. Yeah. The Marauder 2 must survive. Fuck that, everyone's gotta survive. You're talking about Marauder 2, he's gotta survive. We gotta put this guy right in the friggin' front of the battle. We got an Ultra 10. And two PPCs. Christ, the mechs that I have are more dangerous than this thing. I mean, with the exception of the armor, of course. Mastodon, always going last. All right. I'm going to take the hill here, I think. I'm going to come up this way. Good to go. All right, Duck, let's see what we can see. I'm going to put you a little closer. Oh, shit, that came up fast. <laughs> what the hell? 
It just he just walked into a hornet's nest. <laughs> it's like they appeared out of nowhere. Okay, they got lower armor. Oh man, these guys are dead. All right, uh, what do we got? Uh, let's just tab through them and see what we're up against here. Okay, prowler, couple missile, couple energy. Ah, grand summer ballistic, probably ultra ten maybe, ultra twenty, a pair of missiles and an energy. Archer, well we know what the archer is. Oh, of course this guy. Balak, knowing his shiz, the Nova. I might go against the Balak just to get him out of the battle, but this Nova is a tempting target. Catapult, Prowler, Ebon Jaguar, Thunderbolt. I'm seeing a lot of Thunderbolts now. Grand Summoner, another Catapult. I mean, this guy could just be dead. Do we clear the front lines? I think we just clear the front lines. Let's just switch to HE. Let's just clear up the front line. Start out this match with a big FU. Oh, nice. Let's just take it to them, man. Let's just take it to them. Now, you don't have that great of long range. So let's get into here. Take this Grand Summoner. You can slice him. You can dice him. But the Grand Man just keeps on coming. Um, I'm just going to fire. I'm going to hang on to that Warlord. So he's got a PPC. Good shooting, by the way. I should have uh, thanked him for that. That was some pretty darn good targeting. All right, let's see what you got. So 64. Ooh, the great chance on the Archer. Even the Nova and the Prowler. Now the Prowler, um, where are you? If we target the Nova, let's target the Nova because I think our Barrage will hit the Prowler. And I'm going to Warlord this one because we've got a good chance to hit, do some more damage against that Prowler. Beautiful. Well, the Archer took some of that. Prowler looks like he was uh, able to avoid. Crusader, Elaram. Good shooting. I should just put the Marauder behind a hill, don't use it at all, and go back and say, oh yeah, no, it performed, oh my god, I double clicked. Just take it back and just say, oh yeah, no problem, it performed really well. It performed so well, it didn't even get scratched. It's got a little dust on the feet, but that's about it. You're going to want to mass produce these things. <sighs> so who's next here? Hellion, Infiltrator. I can't believe I double. I can. I can. I can believe I double clicked. It gets that little bit of sluggishness, and you click, and you think you miss. You think you miss click, so you click again. Let's get you up here on the road. Now, if this was a Rack 10, this would be a much more terrifying vehicle. That's a lot of medium lasers. That's a job for the Rack, though. God, this thing sucks. I'm being nerfed fighting in this thing. All right, let's just fire at this. It would be interesting if they, um, I noticed in the top, it says Thunderbolt, at the top of Thunderbolt it says Flanker. It tells you what the guy is, but what would be kind of cool is if they just rent, like, you know how it's on my mech it says Gundal, Grand Summoner? That's what they should do for these guys. They should just have little tag names. Anyway, just my two cents. Uh, 
Uh, we want to go up in the hill and shred that guy? Probably. If we can get a bit of height on him, probably be better. This guy right here. Oh, yeah. I want these lasers off of the field, so we're going to do that. See ya. That one's done for. <laughs> you got that right. Now, if Gundal can go, or not Gundal, sorry. If um, Mastodon go, can go before. Oh yeah, he will, he will go before the archer. Okay, I was gonna say we can clear up the archer with Mastodon. Although we should probably give that face that because he that archer is not gonna do anything when he gets back up. So we should give that grand summoner at the front there a face full of lerms. If we can get close enough to him, I'll switch over to dead fire. But I don't know. I think he's standing in trees over there too. Is he standing in trees? Looks like it. I don't know if we're going to get... It depends. We may get to a second match this this uh, this episode. Depends on how quickly we can sweep these guys aside. Now, they may bring in reinforcements. Wait. Destroy Jade Falcon forces 40%. We haven't killed three guys already. Killed the Prowler. Oh, we did we kill one? No, we didn't kill one of the cho choppers. How are we at 40%? Commander. Okay, let's get up here. I want this hill. I'm gonna deny it to them. Not really the greatest chance to hit. Let's leave this off for now. Could warlord it though. No, I don't think we need to though. That hit something good. Well, it looks like he lost most of his ammo. Still got a PPC though. Panic level critical. So yeah, we're going to continue pushing up the left here. Try and take that hill and just fire down on them. Now I think we still got one tag barrage left, which I'm hoping to use on the choppers. Maybe, I don't know. And then we've got the arrow, which I'll you just use on a... If we can get a set of guys that are grouped up, I'll just drop it on them. So this is probably the choppers trying to figure out what to do here. So maybe I will use the tag on them. I wonder what this guy's carrying. Could be the arrow. Because he doesn't have the big weapon sticking out, so I don't think it's a thumper. Or a sniper, whatever the hell it is. I think it's a thumper is the smaller one. Um, but yeah, I think we'll just, maybe we just target these guys, target the ground, kill them. And then, um, yeah, just take the hill. We should be able to smoke most of these guys though. I mean, what, two catapults, thunderbolts, helopolis, helopolis, yeah. And that wasn't me. I don't know why I did that. This is me, though. Switching the camera around. Yeah, it's still a little choky, you know? With the, uh... The helicopter's thinking. With the champas. They should have implemented those a little different. Like like I said before, you can target a hex on the ground as an airstrike or something like that. And then whatever's within that circle. Oh good, he's moving in. Oh no, he's running away. Never mind. 
uh, just target that square on the ground and then have like in the next turn uh, ground strike aircraft come in and attack that that uh, that spot and it doesn't have to be big like it can be like the same like the circle here or the same area as this but that instant you know tag barrage is a little bit weird I find it should be one turn and it should follow the mech as long as you as long as you maintain line of sight on the mech then it should just automatically land the next turn. Still the same chances to hit, I mean... I don't know, I guess it's really tricky trying to code this though. Because you're really working with the base game and then trying to add stuff to it, so... But once again, you know, like I said, I got no complaints about this. I don't mind. I don't. I mean, when you're recording a show, it's kind of annoying a little bit to um, be waiting for um, you, uh, like the turns to go by. <laughs> Should I do that? I have no idea what the chance the hit's going to be. But yeah, like I said, you know, you just have no idea. Oh, he does have a big gun on him. Not for long. Now let's see how you handle this. Inflicted some heavy damage. He's on fire too. Um, but like I said, I got really, I got no real complaints about, uh, Rogue tech, just suggestions, and I don't even mind, you know, how long it takes for the helicopters to move. Like I said, it's just it's a it's frustrating when you're trying to record a series and it takes forever, especially if you got nothing to talk about. But um, you know, I don't I don't if I was just doing this like playing single player all the time by myself, I wouldn't mind it. You know, you get a few seconds just to pick your nose. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. Why do I got I got jump jet thingies on this thing? I can't multi-target, so I gotta choose one or the other. Oh god, why am I in this mech? Alright, let's fire on this guy. Well at least I'm hitting. More often than I'm hitting with my own. Commander. But yeah, you know, if you guys if you guys are playing this game, um I know I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. If you if you got a few extra dollars that you can shoot the Rogue Tech team, go ahead and do it because you're paying for your own enjoyment, right? And these guys have put together such a great, um, such a great game. Um, if you can drop a few dollars to them to help them out, that'd be great. And that's the end of my plug for them for today. All right, let's. Uh, See if we can sweep this Grand Summoner. We're moving a little close, I think, but we gotta take this hill, so... I guess I should have fired first, but whatever. wonder if Mastodon could take out one of those uh, choppers. That guy's running. I wonder if I, I'm thinking uh, next time I install, I might remove the pilot panic system. I like the idea of it being there, but I'm finding that the pilots are panicking more than they ever used to. Like, I mean, as not so much as in punching out. Punching out I find is about the same, but panicking as in like running away from battle, like that guy's trying to run, right? The running away from battle, which makes more sense, I guess, but kind of a little more harmful when it comes to actually trying to engage the enemy because they're not really doing anything. Alright, let's target this guy. I'm going to Warlord it. There we go. Let's see if we can get rid of this Balak. Good to go. Beautiful. That vehicle is dead. Sure is.
that's going to save a bit of time. Oh, that guy's at full strength. Yeah. He's like, don't double click, you moron. Can you give me a multi? Is this guy in your range with more than just a tag? Apparently not. See if we can get a tag on B, but we'll just shoot up A. Wow. All that for like a handful of points. At least we got the tag on though. Yeah, tag him and he runs. It's like, ah, fuck this. Where are you going, guys? Doesn't help you at all. Get rid of this guy if we can. What's the chance for dead fire? 19? I think we need more hits than anything. Although, yeah, let's go for more hits. Beautiful. The thought was the more hits would make him more unstable. Less likely he, w he would be to shoot at us. They're all running away. Oh well, so much for a good stand-up fight. Okay, we should be able to kill that other chopper. Now they're just trying to figure out what to do. Night gear. Okay. All right, duck. Commander. Let's just end this. These guys want to run. We'll just end it. Heading out. Thinking the night gear is probably more of a threat than the thunderbolt. So it's a back shot, it is. Everything on him. So what happens if you want to run, guys? I understand. Okay, can you see that chopper again? Where's the other chopper? He fled. Alright, what's the chance here? Look at that. Looks like it's that first catapult. There it comes. Pair of arrows. Deciding not to use them. Nope, no luck. So... This is the total of their forces? That can't be right, because we've got 50% of their forces killed already. doesn't make any sense. Wow, two leg shots from this guy. Alright, let's just fire at him again. They're fleeing the interview, buddy. Oh, that might be in range. Nope. Well, it is for the tag. Firing at enemies. Eh. All right, all right, I miss. It's just a tag. Don't sweat it. Oh, a few hits. Nice. Um. See if we can see that chopper. No? Alright, we'll fire at this guy then. Oh, the chopper's way over here. No damage it's gonna make us chase him. We 
Grand Summit are still there, right? Receiving you. All right. Ninety one, forty six, forty two, eighty three. Let's take the ninety one, put the tag on it. Let's warlord this sucker. Let's get down to business. I guess he's the commander. If he ordered his guys to retreat, it serves him right. See what they do here. If they continue to run, we should be able to clear this up in a couple of turns. They're down to what, four? No, they're down to six. So why... They must have had a... Okay. Three guys, four guys. One, two, three, four, five, six left. So they must have had a command unit of two. Yeah. Plus two lances. Yep. Alright, let's see what we can take out here. Put the rack back on. Yeah, probably you. You're full strength, so why not? See ya. That's what happens. Your commander, you tell your guys to retreat. Targeted in the ass. I love how it lights up all the trees. That's cool. Dude, you better not blow up on me. So 80% when that guy went down. If they had 12 guys, then 80% is like what, 9? No, that, I don't know. Unless there's more guys back there. I've lost track of who we killed and who we haven't. 1, 2, 3, I don't know, whatever. It says we've killed Six guys, the Evan Jaguar, Catapult, Night Gear, Halopolis, that Grand Summoner. Did he finally go down or is he still here somewhere? Oh, we, we're shooting at this guy. The Grand Summoner went down. Prowler, the Chopper. Uh, the Nova. So maybe they did have 15. Sure. We're down to five anyway, so whatever. Come on, turn and fight. Turn and fight. My might makes right. I think he's stuck at the edge of the map, probably. Like I can't go any further. No, he's not. You have I do. Uh, leave the Thunderbolt. I think this guy's probably more more of a threat. A pair of arrows, you bet. Shoot him in the back, please. Okay, good damage, Dallas. Same. Move order Finish this guy up. Okay, support lance one gone. Okay. Look at me, I'm in a Marauder too. Oh, that's a pretty good chance to hit. But you didn't move, so... Nice. Oh, 
Oh man. Fry him. Bang, you're dead. Oh, you can't jump down, huh? Move order received. That's all right. Just stand up there like the king of the hill. You've done some really great work this mission. He's fleeing the interview. Right here. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know what's going to be better to hit. Might be able to get the chopper. Well, we could completely shred that guy. Could multi. Let's try a multi-target on this one. See if we can claim them both. Can we go with you? Come on. Where was it? Right there. A and B. Okay, B, B, A, A, rotary six. Yep, let's do it. Mama going for the double kill. There it is, folks. Took him down. Wait, please tell me we don't actually have to get out. Okay, well, maybe we get reinforcements. What's up, Commander? Full sprint. Let's see, let's see if we can get out first. It's kind of cheating because you guys didn't finish your turn, but whatever. I'll let you catch up anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Things might get complicated. <laughs> we just faced three lances of guys. How's it going to get complicated? Let's set up for an ambush here. Cause screw them, I ain't, I ain't leaving. You want to see how this thing operates? We'll show them how it operates. Yep. Cool off, Mama. What's up, boss? Um, I want you to get those ATMs in a little bit more uh, prominent position down here with the HE. Uh, you can come around with me over here. I need somebody on my six here. Yes, Commander. Uh, you're fine up there. Yeah. Let's get you to come around this way too. We got some good firepower up on that hill now. Okay, let's get into, huh, let's get up here. Cool off a little bit. Okay, I don't know if they're just dropping in right away or what. Come on, drop in. Yep, here it comes. New Lance, looks like coalition markings, eh? That looks like a Centurion and a whole lot of dead mechs. That's what that looks like. <laughs> what do you think? You can give me eyes on. Actually, you know what? Just... Good to go. See what we're up against. On the move. Full speed. Well, if these guys ain't shit in their pants. They should be. Pardon my French. 
Hmm. 37 on the javelin. Uh. Da -na 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 43 on the javelins. Take it. Nice hit. Waiting for orders. Ah, uh, it's just reserve. <laughs> Let's see what they do. Grand Summoner just showed up with an Ultra 20 right in their face. Let's see what they decide to do. I want, I'm interested to see if they run. They're here to get their Marauder 2 back, and this guy's he's panicking. He's like, I don't know what to do. You have orders? I think I'll just stand here and die. It was you that decided to stand there, eh? Let's show you how bad of an idea that was. <laughs> okay, he's got a prototype double heat sink, so see if we can target his legs. Unless these guys decide to try to make a mess of things. They did. It's probably my bad. I applied too much damage at the start. I'm listening. Well, you used to, pli you used to fi uh, pilot one of those Centurions, so... Uh... Oof. Wow. He hasn't moved yet, that's why. Now let's shoot the Centurion. <laughs> what a horrific thing for these guys. Yes, Commander. I couldn't imagine having to do that. You just drop in and then you just get sh shredded. Just shredded. Um, let's just, I don't want the salvage from these guys anyway. Oh, you killed two of them. I don't know who else you killed. Was it the Centurion? May have been the Centurion. Yeah, it was. All right, just shoot him from here. CT shot, please. God, I wish I had my mech. Orders. Yep, my report will be, in my honest opinion, this thing's a piece of junk. Lots of armor, but if you can't hit your enemy, what the hell's the point? Let's make sure he's dead. <laughs> God, I pity those guys. That must have happened within the course of like about 10 seconds. The, the leopard drops you, puts them down. Yeah, let's do this. And then they just, the whole mound erupts <laughs> in just fire. I don't even, they don't even know what the hell happened. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 35%. We made 500,000 on that. That was a joke. Oh my god. I got two kills on that Marauder though. Not bad. Who didn't get any kills? Grand Summoner. But you know what? He was far back during the battle. He couldn't really get close. So I can't can't fault him for that. Thunderbolt did well though. Alright. Uh, once again. Uh, I mean we can finish off the, night, uh, the Nova Prime. 50 tons. But it's only 50, so what's the point, right? Okay, mm. ATM 6s, no. Paralyte tags, that's a possibility at half a ton each. These things are pretty good. 
Range of 510 meters, too. Um, sniper, Thunderbolt, Ultra 10 we got, 5 we got. Let's Maybe we put together a mech. See what we can get out of a 350 core. That's kind of nice. Plenty of XL engines. We've got two of these already. I mean, we could take it for C bills. We're gonna make our we're gonna make our financial report, but we are gonna need enough for next financial report. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to a point where I've got enough so that when the month ends, I've got enough for the next financial report. So if we do end up with a a, a disastrous mission, we've got enough to be able to sustain. Um, these hands are kind of nice too because we have a bunch of mechs that don't have. Um, hands and lower arm actuators or sorry the lower arm we've got two of them already so we don't need another one oh okay we're gonna take these three that's good upper hardened zero tons okay so it weighs 10 percent and one tenth the chassis weight minus five percent damage taken five percent reduced chance for critical hits cased actuators produce internal explosion damage to 10 points or reduce that's kind of nice too. Where would I put it though? On the Ultra 20. I don't know if I can put it on the. Oh, it is. It's upper. I can put it on the Ultra 20 arm. That's a possibility. HEATM ammo. Shape charge sniper ammo, really. All right, let's choose two mech pieces then. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but let's choose. Oh, we got Nike. We got enough to make a Nike here. That might be better than than taking the Archer. Let's just do that, and that'll be the swap out for the Archer instead, because this will be easier to fix. I wonder what the the, the uh, core is on this though. Movement it's pretty slow, so it can't be that big a core. Okay, we got a better better rule this time. Catapult part, Helopolis part. Okay, Jenner Urban Mech part. Eh. We'll hold a ton of medium lasers and regular medium pulses. Uh well that's not well, okay, we got one more of those sense. Oh god, wow, that was just some of the stuff's okay, like the mech parts are good, but the rest of this stuff is crap. Okay. <laughs> no repairs pretty much. That's good. We're going to get our pilots back. Now, I'm going to just quickly have a look here. I'm going to go to the mech base. I think it's time to retire the uh, bushwhacker, but let's have a look um, here. Now, I think we've got enough. We've got the three Nike Air Prime parts. We can. I think we can assemble an urban mech, too. Or can we? Archer, we can assemble. No, we can't assemble an urban mech yet. So let's put the Nike Air Prime together. PPC is located in the left arm and Ultra 10 in the right. Oh, well, that's interesting. I thought usually the night gears were like missile mechs. See what it's got left. Doesn't look like much. Although both arms seem to be intact. Um. Yeah, I guess not too bad. It could have been worse. It's a 300 core, so it's not too bad. 12 and a half tons. It's giving us, what, 39 tons to work with? That's pretty darn good. Figures Ultra 10 ammo. Yeah, I think this is going to be better than the Archer. Let's max out the armor. How much is it going to cost us to repair it? We got 2.8 mil, so I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's just pull out this stuff for now and get the rest of it repaired. Um, we'll leave out the heat sink kit for now. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Okay. 
So we didn't get much component-wise. A couple of, well, three heat sinks and a heavy jump jet, which is one of the things I was looking for is a heavy jump jet. We've got assault jump jets and, and small, but not heavies. Okay, that's perfect. So let's confirm this. So let's bring the archer forward then. I want to have a look now just to see. Maybe we just scrap the archer because the night gear I think is going to be far more versatile than the archer will be. Uh, the bushwhacker, I think we can just put that in right into storage now. I think we can just put it right into storage. Let's just do that. It's not being used. It's going to save us some sea bills. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's leave the archer where it is. Let's just leave it for now. So we're at 2.1 uh, 2 mil. Okay. We've got enough for our financial report, putting the night gear together. Beautiful. So we got three days to be back. Two, three. That's all our pilots. Nice. And now what we'll do is um, end the episode. The next episode will come back. We got a hundred grand left over for a financial report, so that's not bad. When we come back next episode, we'll pull out that that last mission. I think we're probably only going to get to do one mission per episode. Um, I don't think we're going to get a chance to do more than that, simply because the time it takes to do it, the number of mechs that are now on the field. Um, the last mission here is an assassinate versus the general. We're not going to get much out of this, uh, but we might we might find a few things. Um, that we can probably use. Normally I wouldn't take this mission, but um, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway uh, just to get it out of here. And then we'll see if we got anything else that shows up in here, and if not, then we're going to bail off this planet. Um, we just don't have the rep with Jade Falcon to be able to take any higher level missions, so we'll bail and um, go to a, uh, probably another four and a half skull planet. This one's four and a half, I think. Um, doesn't say here, but I think we're on a four and a half skull world. Um, but yeah, going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.